I'll be reading you Bluey the Beach. This book is about how Bluey's lost her mum on the beach. Stay tuned to the very end so we can find out if Bluey can find her mum again. Let's read! Bluey, Bingo, Mum and Dad are off to the beach. Beach! They set up the tent, roll around in the sand and then race to the water. Bluey and Bingo pretend the waves are trying to splash them. Here comes a big one! Mummy's off for a walk along the beach. Why do you like walking by yourself? asks Bluey. I'm not sure, says Mum. I just do. See you soon, little mermaid. What a strange answer, thinks Bluey. Not long after, she finds a beautiful shell and asks to show Mum. All right, off you go, says Dad. Well, ooh, for real life, says Bluey. All by myself? Dad nods. Just don't go in the water. Bingo waves her hands over Bluey's mermaid tail. Legs. Woohoo! Bluey laughs. I'm the mermaid who got her legs. Mum is now a tiny orange speck. Hmm, Bluey friends. Maybe I'll just stay here with you, Dad. But little mermaid, you can follow Mum's footsteps, says Bingo. Oh yeah, Bluey grins. Thanks. Bluey hops from one footprint to another. She runs and skips and does cartwheels in the sand until she comes across a flock of seagulls. Um, can you please move? Bluey asks politely. A mermaid needs to get through. It's a good thing mermaids aren't scared of seagulls. Ruff, ruff! Bluey laughs as she hops from one footprint to another. She runs and skips and does car wheels in the sand until a big wave sneaks up and crashes onto the shore. It takes Mum's footsteps out to sea. Oh, you cheeky wave, Bluey barks. How will I find Mum now? Just as Bluey begins to lose hope, she spots a Pippi coming up for wee wees. <laughs> A crab that scuttles past. Bluey copies its funny sideways walk. Ha ha, I'm the mermaid who got her crab legs. Pinchy pinchy. Ah! Bluey scampers away, then skids to a stop. A jellyfish. How will I get past? She runs and runs. She picks up a stick and pokes the blue blob. It wobbles hello. Aha, you can't sting me, jellyfish. I am the mermaid who got her legs, but only for a day. Bluey races ahead. Mum, look at this amazing shell, she calls. But Mum's still too far away to hear. Better keep going. Bluey runs and skips and does cartwheels in the sand until she comes across an old castle. Perhaps this is where all the other mermaids live, she thinks and leaves her stick as a present. Then she slowly backs away and bumps right into a pelican. <coughs> Bluey begins to think she's had enough of walking by herself. She looks back at Dad, but he's just a tiny blue speck. If I can't go backwards and I can't go forwards, what am I gonna do? Bluey remembers the seagulls and the crabs and the jellyfish. If she got past them, maybe she can get past a pelican too. She summons every bit of courage. After all, a little mermaid has got to be brave. I am the mermaid who got her legs, but only for a day. Then she tiptoes around the pelican. The pelican beats his great big wings and flies away. Thank you for moving, Mr. Pelican. A familiar voice floats towards Bluey. She gasps and spins around. Bluey! Mum! Bluey holds the shell to Mum's ear. 
it has the whole beach inside it. Bluey and Mum head back together. I love walking by myself, says Bluey. Bluey and Mum head back together. I love walking by myself, says Bluey. Oh yeah, why is that? asks Mum. Bluey thinks, that's a hard question. There are almost too many reasons to say. I don't know, I just do. Like to see my next book, remind mum and dad to subscribe. See you next time.